en vivo. The Indian economy is undergoing a tremendous metamorphosis as the pace of urbanization accelerates and manufacturing picks up. About 31% of Indians reside in urban areas, but this number is projected to rise sharply as the people from villages and hinterlands move to cities in search of livelihood and better opportunities. According to a United Nations report, India's population in towns and cities is expected to touch the 600 million mark by 2031, representing 40% of the population. This rapid urbanization presents huge opportunities as well as challenges, especially in terms of building capabilities and capacities to meet the urban requirements and pressures of a fast-expanding population. Immediately on the nation's agenda is to accelerate investments in the infrastructure sector, especially in the building of roads, ports, railways and power plants. Various studies indicate that the country will have to spend upwards of $1.5 trillion in public and private spending over the next 10 years to bridge the basic infrastructure gap. While this may be music to the ears for companies operating in the infrastructure space, there is a caveat. Corporate India must take care to ensure that rapid urbanization, including the attendant industrialization, does not disturb the country's ecology, its flora and fauna. It is important that the quality of life in terms of the air we breathe, the water we drink are not polluted because of unplanned and haphazard urbanization. It is here that Corporate India has a key role to play in preserving the ecosystem for today's and future generations. They have to emerge as exemplary corporate citizens and play their role responsibly. Today, more than 50% of the world population are living in cities. And in developing countries like India, the urbanization is happening at a faster rate. The challenge is to build efficient cities and infrastructure which can secure energy access for all reduce the greenhouse gas emissions and improve the quality of life with improved air, food and water. To make this transformation of India, the heavy duty sectors like steel, cement and cranes are playing a vital role in making this development at a successful pace. These industries are also counting or consuming more than 25% of the total energy production of India and with the increased demand and predicted expansions, these industries will increase the stress on the current supply grid. Therefore, it is essential for these industries to leverage on new technologies, which can not only help them meet the increased demand, but also save energy and by that doing more with less. Danfoss engineered solutions or drive solutions is ready to help this transformation happening already today. To put the doing more with less a little into perspective, let me give you an example. In 2015, Danfoss, with more than 60 factories worldwide, managed to increase the output of our factories totally with about 11%. In the same period, we only increased our energy consumption with one point. 1 to 1.5 percent measured in kilowatt hour. This we made happen or successful by continuously investing in energy efficient technologies and new ways of doing things. To make a little example on the technologies, as an example using AC drives or frequency converters to monitor and control the speed and power of the electrical motors in the production lines, you can continuously optimize your processes and you can typically save energy between 15 to maybe 35 percent pending the application.
Unfortunately, many are sensitive to the environment issues and are taking proactive steps in that direction. For instance, the Andhra Pradesh based KCP Cement has taken significant steps to reduce its carbon footprint. It has also undertaken a number of initiatives to reduce energy consumption. These investments have resulted in the company emerging as one of the lowest users of energy for cement production. In cement industry is one of the energy incentive industry which nearly about 55 to 60% of our manufacturing cost is only the energy covering the electricity as well as the thermal energy because it is our duty to reduce that is uh, global warming to re by reducing the uh, energy consumption in the industry level as a kcp we have taken lot of initiatives to reduce the energy consumption and today we proud to say that is we are one of the uh, cement industry which we have a lowest power consumption in our cement units as on today because they, we have taken number of initiatives for reducing the energy out of which one is the installation of the vfds for all the moving drives we have installed that type vfds by which we are able to save about 15 to 15% of energy uh, in our daily consumption even technology of the cement also it was improved and now everybody is looking for the energy initiative uh, equipments out of this this thing actually the grinding technology there is a drastic change in the grinding technology in the cement where the people are uh, earlier used to have the ball mills now it was shifted to vertical roller mills where the power consumption is 30% is the lower lower than the um, earlier ball mill technology this also he has uh, given that is a lot of uh, uh, reduction in the power consumption of this one in addition to this one there are number of uh, drives that is actually process fans which was earlier it is 70% uh, efficiencies which was improved to today people are supplying with the 80% efficiency this thing this transformation and major breakthrough was achieved due to innovative solutions from its technology vendor danfoss india an engineering company specializing in energy efficiency kcp used to emit 1 ton of carbon dioxide to produce 1 ton of cement but after the installation of danfoss drives KCP has managed to reduce carbon dioxide emission by nearly 40%. Today, its carbon dioxide emissions are put at 640 kg for every ton of cement produced. Even this level is expected to come down further. To create awareness and to meet the demands of the discerning buyers of cement, KCP is planning to print emission levels on every bag of cement once customers are aware of the dedicated efforts that companies like KCP are taking to reduce the carbon dioxide emission level they will not only buy KCP cement but also build a favorable impression about the brand in the marketplace this can have a salutary effect in the long run KCP cement has got Danfoss VFD drive technology installed in kilns to control the speed of the kiln This helps in saving energy and costs for the customer. It is one of the major elements used to control the quality of cement, process parameters and energy consumption of the kiln section. Over 40 Danfoss drives have been installed in this KCP cement plant. Thanks to the Danfoss installation, KCP cement has been able to reduce power consumption by 36%. It has reduced power consumption from 1250 kilowatts to 780 kilowatts. These savings have helped KCP recover its investment in the VFD drives in less than a year and at the same time managed to increase cement production by 2%. Clearly, innovative solutions like these from Danfoss make a big difference in increasing operational efficiencies. and reducing negative externalities of sectors like cement companies like kcp cement are a model corporate citizen they have shown how to improve efficiency and ensure sustainability in one of the most polluting sectors like cement on that positive note it's time for a short commercial break when we come back 
we will take a look at how Danfoss is helping reduce carbon footprints across the steel sector. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Now, it's impossible to talk of industrialization without the steel industry. It touches our everyday life. Right from the cars we drive, to the electricity power lines, to our machine tools, to the homes we stay in, to the buildings we work in, steel has a ubiquitous presence. Steel, by far, is the most important, multifunctional and adaptable of all materials. The economic progress of any economy is laid on the strength and inherent uses of steel. The growth in the Indian steel sector has been driven by domestic availability of raw materials such as iron ore and cost-effective labour. Steel consumption in the country is expected to grow at 7.1% year-on-year to 94.9 million tonnes during FY 2018, led by the growth in the construction and capital goods sector. India is expected to become the world's second largest producer of crude steel in the next 10 years, moving up from the third position as its capacity is projected to increase to about 300 million tonnes by 2025. The expected rise in consumption is on the back of infrastructure projects, construction industry, automobiles and railway sectors. With a view to reducing the cost and energy footprint, Seaman AG, a global leader in providing complete solutions for metal and mining industries, sought technological solutions from Danfoss. In case of steel manufacturing, AC drives or frequency converters are used in basically all applications in the manufacturing lines. In the processing, it is very crucial to secure uptime and high quality. But there are also enormous amount of potential for energy savings and typically payback time for installing AC drives in steel mills and plants will be around one year. Danfoss clearly has not only helped the companies in the cement and steel sector to reduce energy costs and cut carbon emissions but has also helped in boosting their bottom line. On that note, it's time for another short commercial break. When we come back, we will look at the importance of cranes in building infrastructure. Welcome back. While steel and cement are part and parcel of any construction activity, one cannot miss the towering presence of cranes that help facilitate the entire process of building and shaping something new. Cranes are a feat of technology at its best, simple yet effective. They carry loads to heights, easing the workload for men. Each crane is tailored to a specific use. Those used in the construction sites are tower cranes and mini cranes. Without the use of cranes, it would be impossible to use heavy machinery in the construction of building and other infrastructure projects. The use of cranes increases the speed of the work at construction sites. The area of the site and its location are taken into consideration before deploying the crane type. The improvement in the technology of cranes and their safety features have ensured that it is easy to operate any type of crane without much operational cost. The use of different types of cranes at a single location reduces the labor factor involved in the projects. The use of tracks on which the cranes move has enabled the use of cranes on any terrain. The advancement in technology has meant that it is becoming very safe to use cranes for any work. The use of external stabilizers provides stability when cranes are engaged in heavy work. This feature has also increased the safety aspect in the use of cranes. However, all this depends on how reliable cranes actually prove to be. 
especially under extreme conditions. Here we see the stellar job Ace Construction is doing in this regard. At the time we are supplying, we may not know where it will be used. They have to be sure enough to take care of all the tough conditions like voltage fluctuations, jerk-free operations. They have to be reliable. Wherever tower crane is used, in case for any reason it stops, the site stops. So reliability is must for tower cranes. Heart of tower cranes is the control system, which is taken care by a good control panel, wherein Danfoss and other VFDs come into the play. We are using Danfoss VFDs, we are using their steering units, we are using cylinders, master cylinders uh, in a lot of our machines. Danfoss helps us in upgrading the technology in working out particular solutions for different applications. Earlier, uh, we were supplying machines without VFD. Once VFD comes into the play, the crane becomes energy efficient. You are able to save at least one to two liters of diesel per hour. And believe me, two liters of diesel means around 100 rupees per hour you are saving. If we really calculate the impact of fuel savings over a period of time, maybe in a year you can save up to one and a half lakhs. And tower cranes and VFDs are very reliable. They work over a period of time. Life of a tower crane is 10 to 12 years if it is maintained well. So the fuel savings over a period of time are really substantial because of VFDs. In case of tower cranes, apart from effective and precise load control and safety, the ACE drives is also helping the end users and ACE cranes to save energy and by that save money. Well, looking at some of the case studies in this episode, it is very clear that rapid economic growth can be achieved without losing focus on sustainability and the environment. As an emerging economy, we will always have a huge appetite for infrastructure and industrial progress, but this can be done in a cost-effective and energy-efficient way. Danfoss has clearly illustrated that there is a solution for affordable industrialization and a cleaner and greener tomorrow. Innovate. Enable.